Hello YouTube. So first of all, I kind of want to apologize for the little swear I did at the beginning of last week or at the end of last week's episode. Um, yeah, I got stuck between a fountain and a lamppost, as you could see, and I am a person who has kind of a problem because I swear really easily when I'm frustrated so yeah I wanna apologize about that um, now onto uh, yeah onto other things um, first of all uh, yeah my personal life I went camping last uh, last weekend which was really fun we went looking for edible plants and mushrooms and we found quite a lot of edible plants but no mushrooms that we were sure were edible mushrooms and we found something that might be wild carrot but we didn't pick it because there was also a chance that it wasn't wild carrot but instead the deadliest, uh, one of the most poisonous plants in Holland and you have to be uh, a real expert on that family of plants to know which is which so you know we were not gonna take the risk um, uh, yeah what else uh, I got an assignment due well before the airing of this episode but from this episode on um, about 24 hours a little more and I'm gonna get all the data I need to do that assignment exactly 24 hours before it's due or no exactly 23 hours before it's due so yeah when I first read that my first thought was it's been quite a while since April Fool's Day. You guys are kind of late with this, but yeah, it wasn't a joke. I really have um, a whole assignment basically due in 23 hours. So yeah, I'm gonna be kind of stressy. I hope I'll make it, but I'll probably will. Just not gonna be very good. Um, okay, now on to the Zoo Tycoon part. This zoo is not really gonna focus on the animals. Um, it's gonna be called Desert Gardens because I'm gonna focus more on the plants and the rocks and the whole landscape aspect of the zoo than really on the animals. There's gonna be animals, but they're more gonna be kind of like fitted in between the landscape then so much building the landscape around the animals as I usually do you know usually it's more like I want this animal what would be a nice landscape for it this time I'm gonna make a garden and I'm gonna be like I've got a nice landscape what animal can I fit in it and I hope that will be an interesting thing to do so yeah that's the plan for this uh, for this mini zoo so uh, yeah let's start the speed build <laughs>
so that was the speed build. I want to apologize in advance for um, possible background noises. I am recording this little tour at my parents' place. They live pretty close by an international airport and um, apparently today they're using one of the flying routes that can be heard from the house. So you might hear a plane in the background. Uh, that's what that is. So, you know, without further ado, let's get the tour started. So, uh, here in the beginning of the zoo I have like these date palm trees, you know, with some flowers, they look kinda nice. Behind it there you see a rockscape, or supposed to be a little rockscape with a little tree, you know. And in the background here, some, you know, sand dunes as you might find in a desert, in a hot desert. And then the first enclosure, um, Arabian partridges. Uh, partridges are quite simple birds. Uh, I'm. They are just you know related to chickens and peafowl and turkeys and all that sort of birds you know. And yeah, I thought they make a they make a nice addition you know with these trees here in these rocks. It's you know a nice little centerpiece to look at directly as you walk into the park, you know. And then, you know, the park goes on. I'll do these little um, sand pads, which are also supposed to be kind of diversion from the actual park uh, separately. So, then we go, and you here you have this bridge over this gorge. You know, nice desert gorge. Um, I decided to go with these, I believe they're called Yucca trees or y Joshua trees, I kind of forgot which. And some nice undergrowth. Also some of those, uh, I forgot what they're called, those South African trees. Here's one right in the middle of a little, you know, rock and cactus garden, which... It's kind of something I actually really like, and once I get all the uh, all the expansion packs reinstalled, uh, I'll probably build some more things with cacti because I kind of like them. You know, they they look pretty neat. And then here, uh, yeah, we have the inhabitants of the gorge, fennec foxes, which are, you know actually creatures that you might find in an actual desert gorge or in a desert rock area where they can hide between the rocks uh, during the heat of the day and then come out at night to, uh, to hunt small animals between what little plants there are which is exactly what I kind of try to simulate here although they <laughs> do get a water dish and they have really oversized bones to chew on. And then you walk on and you walk out of the gorge. And yeah. You see the one species of animal that I really want to have in here no matter what. Dromedary camels. I feel camels are nonetheless iconic for deserts, you know. When you think desert, the first animal you think of is a camel. So, yeah, I really wanted to, to have him in here. They have this nice big field with some uh, food trousers to eat from. And a poorly hidden sh shade structure to rest under. And then here we have, you know, sort of the restaurant area. With some food and some drinks. You can sit here nicely and you can... Uh, yeah, you can watch the camels walk by, do camel things. <laughs> I feel it looks kind of, It's kind of simple, but I kind of like it, especially since it's elevated, so it gives you a nice view of the whole park. Um, then the Oryxes. Um, 
Uh, yeah, Oryx's first issue, so I want to put them with the camels that didn't really work out. Not enough space, so now they have their own enclosure. And Oryxes are also a really nice animal to have here. First I went with kangaroos or wallabies. Uh, and they do look nice in a desert, but if all the other animals are from North Africa and the Middle East, then one Australian animal looks kind of weird, in my opinion, you know? Especially, especially if there's, you know, the entire thing is supposed to have a bit of a Middle Eastern ambiance, you know, with the Arabian Nights theme and everything, so, yeah. I went with these, uh, these nice desert antelope, the Oryxes, and they do look really nice in here. Might even get some more in here because it looks like the enclosure could handle one or two more, but I might also just have them breed to do that. And you walk on and you have a nice view of the camel enclosure with this little hill with uh, trees and grass and rocks on it. You know. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're almost at the end of the main path thing. And here you find yourself back at the entrance. And then you also have these little pots which visitors probably won't use because I didn't put any animals here. But I still kind of like it. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a little bit of like a fruity grove like area. I got date palms and I believe these were supposed to be pear trees. Uh, pomegranate trees, okay. Uh, so pomegranate trees and date palms, so, you know, trees that bear fruit. And, you know, you walk on and you walk on. It's, it looks kind of nice. I might, in an update video on this, put some bird or something here, but I don't think I will. And then we go here. Visitors do walk here because they can see the camels and the partridges. And this is supposed to be a little lane. And it was actually inspired by a lane in the Amsterdam forest. Where they have beech trees. That's B-E-E-C-H. Uh, and they put them on the side of the pot. But because there was nothing on the pot. All the beech trees grew over the pot which made it into kind of a tunnel of, uh, of branches and leaves which looks really cool and I kind of tried to go for that feel with the trees going over the path and the bushes on the side and I, I feel it looks pretty neat and then we have this part uh, yeah here and this is like an actual garden, you know, you have these big rocks on the top of the hills, but kind of separating it from the rest of the world. And then you have, right next to the path, you have uh, some flowers, and then uh, bushes, you know, further up the hill. And then here, the only water in the park, a little pond, and I put some uh, papyrus, you know as wetland plants here, some rocks around it to look nice and uh, a tree there to also look nice you know three different types of flowers which I feel they do, they look really well this way and also some cacti because I like the cacti and uh, yeah that's the whole park uh, I tried to, I tried my best actually to keep it kind of simple, you know, not go with like anything super over the top, because it was just supposed to be a little bit of like some pathways with gardens, like actually this area here and this area here are like my favorite areas in the park because that was really the feel I was going for here with you know, going off the main path and uh, kind of being just between the desert plants and 
And yeah. I feel I did do that really well, so uh, yeah. Uh, that's the whole park. I hope I have my um, everything reinstalled by the next episode. If not, I'll build another park like this. And if I do, I will uh, continue with the big safari park and build you the leopard enclosure. But until then, see you later.